I would like to talk about adapters and what's really awesome about the micro four thirds format that the GH2 uses is that the distance from the back of the lens to the sensor is so small compared to most of the cameras that you can adapt just about any lens out there. In fact, there's only a few types that you can't adapt because optically speaking, they just can't focus their image on the sensor plate, but just about every other one you can. I've got a couple of adapters here that I like to use, and this just opens up a huge, huge, huge range of possibility. Now, there is a slight trade-off when you work with adapters for other types of lenses, and the main one is that you lose the ability to electronically control the aperture and the focus from the camera. So instead, you have to do that on the lens itself. And it's not too tricky. I mean, once you get in good practice, you'd be just as good at it. But the trick is that you need to look out for lenses that allow you to do that. I have a little Nikon 50 millimeter lens right here. And if you look, here's the focus ring and here's the aperture. Nice mechanical. Now it's got click stops, which means if you change the aperture during a shot, you're going to see kind of a drastic change. There are lenses you can get out there that are a little more cinematic that um, will allow you to make those changes smoothly. So let's just look at, real quick at how these work. I've got the, this is a Voigtlander adapter for the F mount, which is what Nikon technically is called. So I just pop off the back here, pop on the adapter like that, take off this little retaining plate, and then I'm going to snap it into the camera, take off the micro four thirds lens that I have, 20 millimeter pancake, pop in the Nikon with its adapter, and there I go. I've got a beautiful 50 millimeter f1.4 lens capable of some really nice shallow depth of field. Look at that. Let me just knock down my exposure a bit. And I'm going to take the ISO way down. It's kind of high. Let's go to ISO 400. And there we go. That's about exposed. Look at that. That is some seriously, seriously shallow depth of field. So this just opens up a huge, huge, huge range of what you can do. Look at that. That's pretty awesome.